We are here today to announce that federal law enforcement, working in conjunction with the Pueblo Police Department, has successfully stopped what we believe to be an imminent threat of domestic terrorism against a Colorado religious institution. 27-year-old Richard Holzer of Pueblo, who the FBI says is a white supremacist, a skinhead in federal custody tonight facing a federal hate crime. Holzer is accused of working with undercover FBI agents in a plan to blow up the Temple Emanuel Synagogue in Pueblo. He was arrested Friday night. Authorities say he was planning to bomb the synagogue on Saturday, but they say there is no longer a threat to the city. Tonight we're hearing more from members of that temple's congregation as well as worshipers of other faiths who are standing in solidarity. Bill Folsom in Pueblo tonight outside Temple Emmanuel. The FBI criminal complaint details ugly language, things like praise for the Holocaust and saying that all Jews need to die. For the congregation here and also the Jewish community in Pueblo, it is a sad and scary day. We have been in this, in this community as a congregation since 1900 and we've never had this kind of incident happen it would take somebody from outside of our community to do something like this michael atlas acuna is congregation president at temple emmanuel fbi agents and pueblo police met with him to share details of the suspect and threat to the synagogue i, I, I kind of separate this out first of all this guy's not a puebloan He's a transplant. He believes this is about an individual and not the Pueblo community. He credits investigators for thwarting the plot and is grateful no one was hurt. The more than century old synagogue is safe and important things like sacred, antique and irreplaceable Torah scrolls were not lost. We're not going to cower from it. We're, we're not going to be victims. My husband is the only child of two Holocaust survivors. This is also personal and too close to home for many in Pueblo's Jewish community. I'm just ready to start crying and I probably will. This is just the most horrible thing I could imagine. Inside the front door to Temple Emanuel, there's a memorial to the people shot and killed just a year ago during an attack at a synagogue in Pittsburgh. Incidents at other synagogues and places of worship now understood too well. It's beyond our comprehension this is happening in America, but now it's in our backyard and it is extremely real and it's devastating. The people we spoke with say this is troubling, also disappointing, but they will not be intimidated. Meetings here will continue on as usual, although there will likely be extra security. Watching out for you, Pueblo, Bill Folsom, News 5.